Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me on my channel. I've got a very quick technique for you today, a nice easy way for you to use a gel plate or a media plate. So I've got the Textures gel plate here. This is from my own brand. Um, as you can see by the discoloration, I use it a lot. I use both sides. I very rarely wash it, I usually just wipe it clean. And I have to admit with particularly this gel plate and lots of others I've used in the past, before I had my own one, um, I find the more you use it, the better it's going to perform. So when you have a brand new gel plate, it doesn't always work as well. It kind of needs to be primed with all those inks and paints and things like that and, and washed. If you are going to wash them, I would say don't use baby wipes. They have alcohol in them, a lot of them. They do dry out the plate. Um, you want to just run it under water, sometimes soapy water if you really need to get that um, paint and things off but then leave it to air dry really really important um, also if you do find that you've dried your plate out by maybe using something like an alcohol wipe on it um, or you just find it's not really got that tackiness anymore you can try a tiny little bit of a baby oil or some sort of oil rub it into the plate leave it overnight to soak in rinse it under the water and allow it to air dry the next day should be good as new so uh, that's the housekeeping over with let's get started with this technique very very quick one today it's a nice short video hopefully i'm going to be using distress oxides on my plate um, a little bit different usually i'd go in with paints i find these actually even easier to work with than paint because it's cleaner the application's cleaner you don't waste very much either i find with paint sometimes you can waste a fair bit so i'm just going to put a couple of different greens on there i've got forest moss in the distress oxide range and i've also got pine needles and i've just squelched a few squares direct from the ink pad onto the plate and i'm going to brayer those so i'm going to brayer them sideways to try and keep the colors reasonably separate but with a nice blend through the middle as you can see as i start brayering them that color smooths out and we get this beautiful blend through the center now i've got a piece of paper here so i can take off the ink off of my brayer as i work and sometimes that makes really beautiful backgrounds as well so the technique is going to be using stamps and i'm going to be using clean stamps to start with so these are my leaf stamps these are from my magnolia drive collection um, from textures again i'll show you the packet in just a moment but i'm just going to start layering these onto the plate just laying them down no ink on them whatsoever just placing them on anywhere just filling up the spaces i've got five stamps in this collection so hopefully i can use most of those fitting them in yeah i think i'll fit one more in there quite nicely Perfect, look at that, lovely. Okay, so I'm just going to take this piece of plastic, or this piece of plastic here, just lay that over and just press those down. Now by doing this, this plastic has come out of the stamp pack. Um, this means that the stamps are going to start clinging onto the plastic. They're now not going to move around. Okay, so you can really press them down into the ink, the distress oxide that's on your gel plate. And you notice I've caught a little bit on the plastic there, so that will show through and here, but we don't worry about that too much. So just gently rub over those. Now I'm going to lift all of those stamps off, hopefully, because they've clung to the plastic. Now you won't see a great deal here at the moment, but when I bring in my paper, so this is just going to be a piece of copy paper, the same paper as you would put in your home printer, lay that on there and I'm just going to bray her over the surface you can use your bray here or you can use your fingers I like to bray her to ensure I've caught everywhere then I also like to just cover myself by going over with my fingers unlike with paint this won't dry out quite as quickly you don't need to be quite as fast at peeling the paper off so if you don't mind slightly mucky hands it's fine to do it that way and then lift this off what you'll see we've got beautiful green leaf impressions in there now if you want to just accentuate this even further i'm just going to bring this in now we could use this again we could restamp that if we wanted to in fact let's just do that let's just restamp these leaves just like so just press these down we can create ourselves another background there if they are going to transfer there we go beautiful look at that that's two in one already two i love both of those i would be cutting this out using it as a card background the same for this one the beauty of this one is you do actually have within the stamp and die set of the leaves you do have the dies as well um, i've got them in a pack somewhere so oh here they are 
you got the outline dies, so you could use the dies to cut those out and have lovely sort of multi-tonal coloured flowers. Now let's just try this technique once more. I'm just going to give this a quick wipe uh, or a wash and then come back and do this maybe with a couple of other colours. Okay, so just repeating that technique again, I've got Valenius Potion and uh, Uncharted Mariner. So I'm going to use these two colours. Dark colours work best with this technique because the darker the colours, the more the uh, the white of the paper is going to show through when you do the transfer. So I'm applying these two inks, a few squidges of my ink pad. I'm not actually putting that much ink on there. So just get as much of that excess off of this roller and then I'm going to roll this on. might have a bit of green on there. You can of course wash your brayer if you prefer. Go, make sure that ink, if you feel like you've maybe not got enough ink on there and it's actually not spready but instead just peeling off, just apply a bit more. And go back in, we've got this lovely blend now on there on the brayer. Okay, let's see how this works. Now I'm going to take a stamp again. This one's a much more detailed stamp, so this one. Here is a dragonfly stamp. This one comes from the textures geometrics range. There's two large stamps, one dragonfly, one floral, uh, and you've got lots of additional extras around there as well. So you can also use your brayer just to press this down because I'm not using the backing sheet as I did with the leaves. Just use your brayer to press this down like so. Nice even pressure and lift that off. Now, I'll transfer that in just a moment. What I also want to do is add a little more colour. Now, I'm going to use a stamp. This is a stamp that's come from the, uh, I want to say it's the Paris Romance collection from Textures. I'm just going to stamp a bit of this onto that ink as well. I want to be quite quick with this. Go just around like so and let's do this transfer now I can see the ink this time has kind of pulled just a little bit so let's just see what the transfer is like and the beauty of gel plate printing is you never know you you can never really predict exactly how a print is going to work whether the inks are going to peel up the way you want whether they're going to blend transfer the way you hope or whether it's going to just be a complete disaster but that is some of the fun of it is never knowing look at that okay so we have got this lovely sort of white image there of the dragonfly and in the background i've got the text i really like that so this would just be a background for me it wouldn't actually be a focal point so i really love that we've got the background there i think i'm going to try that once more with some different colors as well now where i've got the black on there i will have to wash this but i'll have a play with this um please stay tuned to all my social media so you can see things like this the results so we've got uh, the leaves there absolutely beautiful we've got the dragonfly stamp there as well here's one i did earlier with that same dragonfly stamp but in the green and the yellow you can really see that one that shows up beautifully doesn't it so uh, really good fun with these just simply with the gel plate or a media plate some distress oxides and some of your stamps that you already have in your stash if you love any of these products that i've been using i will link everything down below for you please do subscribe if you haven't already and i hope to see you again soon for some gel plate tutorials or other craft paper craft tutorials too take care everybody i'll see you soon